I get the reality show on BET. We do a vow renewal. Me and my ex-wife, we did a vow renewal in the pilot episode. That ended up being the last episode. But when we shot the show, it was the first episode. So we do this whole redo of a wedding on the reality show. And the reason we did the redo of the wedding, when we first got married in 2003, my stepdad and my real dad got in a fist fight at my wedding. And not a fist fight. My stepdad sucker punched my real dad at the wedding reception. And the whole, here's the thing. I was no, I, I, I lost touch with my real dad for about four years. And then we reconciled. And when we reconciled, I never told my stepdad I reconciled with my real dad. And me and my stepdad actually got along halfway decent the four years that he thought that, that well, not thought that I wasn't talking to my real dad. But when he found out that I reconciled and then I was going to invite my real dad to my wedding, he was like livid. He was not happy. He was just going off. And I was I was so worried something might happen at the wedding because my real dad, it, my stepdad is fucking crazy. And sure enough, I remember we was at first it started. I had to talk to him like, don't don't you're not going to do shit, right? You good. You're going to be in the same room with him. He goes, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got a handle on it. And I could just see him. We're at the we're at the rehearsal dinner. And why did the seating go where my brother Dallas was sitting next to my real dad? And their backs was a, it was like a U table, and they're they're right here eating. And my stepdad was behind him. He kept saying, "Hey, hey, don't be talking to my son. Don't be talking to my son." <laughs> I was like, "Shut! Oh my God! What do you think he's saying? They're just having small talk." Get to the wedding. Uh. <laughs> I just hear all I hear is like I grab again. I grab my brother Dallas. The bar was in another room. I said, "Hey man, let's go get a drink real quick." We go to the other room. We was waiting to do the bouquet and the garter thing, and all I hear is, "There's a fight!" And I went, "Fuck!" I already knew what it was. I go out there at this point. It's bro broken up, and I guess my stepdad just got up and took a swing at my real dad. And luckily. One of the guys at my wedding, my buddy Derek, kind of caught my stepdad's arm. He said, Gear, I saw it coming. My buddy Derek, I went to high school with, he kind of knew all the stories about my stepdad and knew he was crazy. So he kind of, I always, I told him, I said, man, just, just kind of stay close. Keep an eye on him. Because he could snap at any second. I've seen it. I've seen him just haul off and start hitting people. So he said he saw it. He said, Roger was so like, he was zoned out for a second. And he, his eyes wouldn't go off my real dad. And the second he thought he had a shot, he went for it. And Derek kind of caught his arm. So instead of my stepdad hitting my real dad in the face, kind of hit him in the chest. And it got broken up immediately. And then when it, the wedding was pretty much over at that point. But when I finally talked to my, my stepdad the next day, I was like, what happened, man? Why'd you hit him? And he was like, he was like, he looked at me funny. I was like, what? He said, no, nah, that wasn't a normal face, Gary. He looked at me like, I fucked your wife before you. I wasn't around with Gary's growing up and I'm still at the wedding. Ha, ha, ha. I was like, damn, he said all that in the face? That's a hell of a face. <laughs> so, uh, again, then my stepdad, I met my real dad afterwards. He was like, I want to press charges. And also I said, and I had to talk him out of it. I said, dad, please don't press charges. I was like, we, I don't have a honeymoon. If you press charges against my stepdad, then he's probably gonna go to jail. Even just for a night, my mom's got to bail him out. And we were leaving Oakland. We were leaving the wedding to go. We just went to Vegas for the honeymoon. And it was only like for three or four days, but. I got nobody to watch my kids. My real dad ain't watching them. He never watched them. He ain't involved really. And I was just like, so he didn't press charges. But then he would always be like, man, I wanted, to, I should have busted his ass. If I could redo that, I want a piece of his ass. And I look back on that and I go, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's been two instances where my stepdad came at you. One, when, when the phone call happened and you locked your door and didn't come out. And then at my wedding, he sucker punched you. You never tried to hit him back. So I was like, look, the bottom line is my real dad is scared of my stepdad and he has a right to be, but don't act like you're a badass. Don't act like oh, I want a piece of him now. See now, no, I, I still have PTSD. I recently saw a picture of my stepdad at a left field. Somebody showed it to me and I literally got, I started sweating. I, my stomach dropped just a picture of him. That's, that's the thoughts that come over me when I see my stepdad in pictures or videos, it goes back to, and, and the guy's old now, can barely walk, like he can't do anything. But for some reason, I think, 
he still could do something to me. Uh, it's 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 a weird thing when when you go through something like that as a kid. So 